Hi! <laughs> Welcome to Lego the Hobbit. We're doing Troll Horde mission number five. There we are. I didn't realise that you can actually open this and flick left to right as well. You don't actually just need to track down the exact mission marker, which is a blessed relief. Anyway, ten mini kits, four treasures, and one blacksmith recipe for the skeleton crank, and it's going to get us red brick carnival party? Something like that, which is just the best red brick ever. As always, you're going to need Saruman or someone else to destroy silver bricks, and the Barrow White or someone to deal with uh, Morgul blocks. Gee, I'm not sure we have any Morgul blocks in this one. Let's see. Uh, first up, there is a mithril silver doodad right in front of us, so grab that and then um, grab the ring to construct a hook. And as always with Bilbo, you've got to pick the ring manually, it's super annoying. But uh, build that hook. Come on, you can do it, Bilbo. <laughs> there we are, up there. Then flip to someone with the flail. Are we going to get there eventually? Oh, I should have sped this up, shouldn't I? Oh, well, slow roll into it. <laughs> Grab someone with the flail to yank that down, and there is mini kit number one. Hurrah! Then uh, it's a bit of a smash fest. Um, just kind of smooshing things up. Master burglar requirements are pretty low here. Uh, as you can see, I've got it almost immediately, although I do have times 8 active. Another silver brick there for Saruman to deal with, and tucked back there is treasure number one, the archaeologist's pick, which increases the amount of loot uh, that you get when you mine stuff. Hurrah! Much more is a slight exaggeration. It's about twice as much. Um, next up, we're going to grab mini kit number two, and that's tucked in here where you need light to light the room up. Uh, no, it's not. That's a dirty fib. Uh, we're going to go digging here. Sorry for the blacksmith recipe. There we are. That's it there. So make sure you get someone who can dig. Should be pretty straightforward. Then head into this back room and light it up. Uh, and smash that mithril silver block there with Saruman. And that's mini kit number two. Now that little bit of remaining mithril silver is kind of tricky to get. I'll show you at the end. You can get a very specific angle on it. But in the meantime, switch the goblin and grab mini kit number three. Easy as pie. Just one more mini kit to get here, I think. Maybe one more treasure too. I forget. We'll find out. But yeah, if you get just the right angle, you can blow that up. But you don't get anything special for it. Just some coins. Anyway, through here, uh, turn into Bomber, lie on there, feed him some carrots and fish, which you can just loot lying around. Get up there, smash that up, build the hook. There we go, pull it down. Yay, swing across, smash all that up, flip to Thorin, um, and get his sword. Then you're going to be over here, you want to build this hook, pull it down. Uh, smash that to unlock Gandalf's chest, but before you do, turn into a wizard or someone and just smash all the bricks up there. And you'll see mini kit number four is right there. Here we are. Hurrah! Now open this with Gandalf. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing I'd missed. <laughs> open this with Gandalf and you'll head through to the next stage, or the next area. So you should have four mini kits, one treasure, one blacksmith recipe at this point. Another mini kit immediately behind you. You can smash this up. You may grab this in story mode. Uh, just destroy those leaves, and there's mini kit number five. Um, what do we got next? Uh, a bit of mining for you. I want to try out the archaeologist thing, and that's how I learned it got double. There's a bow shot up there, which spits out the. I forget what this is called. Let's have a look. Uh, but again, you may have got this in story mode because I'm pretty sure you have the bow dwarf with you at this point. Um, the trophy mallet. There we are. It just does a hammer smash. Nothing too special there. Uh, then you're going to want to turn into someone with a bow and shoot these five sunflowers in the background. I can get four from there. One, two, three, four. The fifth one got a tree got in the way or something. So head back there. There it is, number five. Grab that, and that's mini kit number six. Now, uh, not much else to do here. There, you're going to need um, to smash that uh, block there on the left that you hammer smash, uh, and obviously rescue all the animals to get to the next stage. Um, so switch to Radagast and uh, dig the animals out if needs be. Deal with them. There we are. Two, three. Uh, you'll have to build some Lego stuff up here for number four. There we are. Uh, so build that thing, uh, get that rabbit and save it. 
There we are. And then for number five, what you want to do, blow away this stuff here, get Mr. the Hammer Man, smash that, jump up here, don't go down yet, smash all that up, and that will reveal some Vorpal blocks that you need to build. Uh, try to ignore the fact that the sunflowers are back, and we'll pretend this isn't the dirtiest of dirty cuts. <laughs> build that, uh, take the ring off, switch to a dwarf, uh, smash that open, and the banana rang, I think it's the banana rang, will pop out. And the banana rang's kind of fun and a bit silly. Uh, it will, you can uh, basically target almost anything with it and it'll go and then return to you. <laughs> anyway, uh, this bit here, you uh, there's too many kits in this race sequence and the race sequence won't finish until you kill the last guy. You can go around as many times as you want. Uh, you're going to have to knock down five. There we are, there's one on the left, uh, but we missed that one. Uh, there's another one coming up here. Those things were the flags. Five of those in total. There's the first, the second there. Well, technically the third, but we missed the first. There's a mini kit there, number seven, right in the middle of the room, or the path. There's number three. Just basically ride around here until you've got the one mini kit in the middle and the five little flaggy, there's number four things, that are just lying around. Then you can get on with killing these guys. But again, you can, I've looped this seven or eight times just to make sure that it's possible. There we are. Back at the beginning, there's number five. Then kill the rest of these guys. I skip that because it's really boring. You don't need to see me just uh, button mash. And we're through to this section here. Now, first up, you're going to want an elf uh, and a bow. Fire it into there and then jump your way up. Make sure you're facing the right way. Jump. Jump, be jump, be jump, be jump. And that's knocked down the paint bow, which I completely ignored for about 15 seconds. I don't know why. But there it is, there. That's treasure number four. Hurrah! Um, once you've grabbed that, use magic on here to smash that open. Don't know why I took the elf back up. No idea. And head in here, grab a wizard, and light up the dark room at the back there to get mini kit number nine. Um, just one more, <coughs> excuse me, just one more mini kit to get a slightly tricky one, or at least slightly convoluted one, this one. First of all, you're going to need to smash a mithril silver brick there, then light a fire. I use the dragon egg, but you can use Sam if you don't have that. There we are. Burn that. Now, I'm not exactly sure why this opened. I couldn't see a color code anywhere. I was just kind of shooting stuff randomly. But if you go red and blue, it's going to work seemingly. It might be because the two greens are together in the middle, and honestly not exactly sure. If you've any idea, do let me know. I'd love to know that. Anyway, five targets are going to come up at the top. There's one, two, and three. Then you're going to need to combine with another dwarf, smash that wall apart, and there's two more at the top. You'll see up there there's one, or four rather, and five. Yay! And your tenth mini kit will appear underneath there, so go ahead and grab that. And you'll see that we are all done. There we are, ten mini kits, a blacksmith recipe for the crank, and four treasures. The treasures again, the paint bow, uh, the banana rang, the trophy mallet, and the archaeologist's pick. The archaeologist's pick is used in a quest. Uh, we'll see that, that's in Caradras, and the skeleton crank, obviously red bricks. Uh, it's the, the, the carnival party, which is what you'll see, just epic. Uh, the mini kit was Radagast's sledge. And there we are, four uh, things for me there. Nothing too bad here, seven mithril bricks is the most painful part. You should have plenty of meat, wood and uh, gold by this stage. There's a crank, you can use it on any crank, just saves you looking around for them in a couple of the open missions really. That's about it. Uh, anyway, head down to Radagast's house, there. And we're going to drop off uh, cranks a lot. <laughs> I think it's called something ridiculous like that. Cranks very much. There we are. Follow the gold stud trail. I've left it as night time for a very important reason, which you'll see coming up here. Anyway, have a chat with this lady. She'll give you this brick, which costs a bargain, 50,000. Like, there's no way this should be as cheap as it is. Uh, <laughs> do love especially the horse dance. That's maybe my favourite bit. Reminds me of Viva Piñata. <laughs> anyway... That is the most amazing dance. I'm going to leave it running while we drop off the archaeologist's pick mission. There you go, you get an idea of where that is. Anyway, head down to Caradras uh, here. There we are, there's Caradras. 
uh, there. And directly north from there is the Mining for Riches quest. I don't believe this has any prerequisites, uh, but follow the stud trail there. And look at the amazing lights from this red brick. I oh, don't worry, I won't have it on for any more missions. Uh, but go see this guy here, and he will swap you the archaeologist's pick for a lovely silver mithril brick. And I'm starting to run out of bricks now, so I'm going to go do some missions to get some. Anyway, that's it for now. On the left, uh, roast mutton, I think. And on the right, uh, the next one, overhill, underhill. That one is, yeah, that's a bit of a tricky one. It's got a quest chain to hand in one of the items, which involves going all the way forward to like mission 14 or 15 or something. But anyway, I'll talk about that in there. These quest chains are kind of annoying, I'll be honest. Uh, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.